Are you ready for an exquisite journey into a world of luxury and romance? This video will walk you through a step-by-step -step training on how to marry a rich man of your dream. Set the time aside, pour yourself a glass of your favorite wine and a comfy seat because you won't want to pause once you start. It will potentially transform your life from ordinary to extraordinary. Our method is straightforward but challenging covering the A to Z of winning over a wealthy man, holding his interest, and ultimately getting him to commit to you. While we can't promise that each viewer will end up as a billionaire wife, our insights dramatically increase your chances of marrying a gentleman significantly wealthier than you. Moreover, even if marriage isn't in your immediate plans, knowing how to elevate yourself and interact with the affluent can prove beneficial to your personal and professional life. Welcome to a world where dreams can become a reality. We're here to map out the journey for you, bridging the gap between your current situation and your ultimate dream. All it takes is a step-by-step -step strategic plan filled with practical insights that we have crafted especially for you. It will answer these questions. Have you ever wondered what life would be after marrying a rich man? How do you pick the right man to fulfill your needs? What characteristics do wealthy men seek in a woman? How do you adapt yourself to comfortably blend into high society? Discover secret locations to meet these affluent individuals and how to distinguish the genuinely rich and generous from the pretenders. Learn the art of captivating their attention during initial dates. Keep the flame of the relationship alive and how to subtly extract what you want from them. Ultimately, learn the secret of making a wealthy man bend his knee with a proposal. Introducing the High Society Academy, your gateway to the world of the elite. Ever wonder why some women glide effortlessly into the arms of wealthy men, while others who have potential but make stupid mistakes resulting in missing their chances over the past 15 years, we've watched, learned, and now we're ready to share. With our expansive network of successful entrepreneurs and industry leaders, we've compiled invaluable insights into what these high-caliber men are genuinely looking for in a partner. Marrying rich isn't just about luck. Those women strategically navigated their journey, and you can too. Stay with us until the end of this video to get an exclusive, time, limited offer to enroll in our upcoming course, Marry into the High Society. Additionally, we're giving you a chance to profit from this course before making any investment. Are you ready to embark on your voyage into high society? Let's begin! Step 1. Envisioning your future in high society. Have you ever found yourself daydreaming about a life dripping with luxury? Well. That's your first step towards becoming part of high society. The key is to immerse yourself in that lifestyle and adapt to it so smoothly that a wealthy suitor wouldn't think twice before making you a part of his world. Now, if you believe your current life is okay and you don't really need extravagance, then you're probably not ready for this transformation. Remember, the journey towards the opulent life requires determination fueled by a burning desire for luxury and, perhaps, dissatisfaction with your current situation. The women who've successfully made this transition are usually ones who've had a small taste of the opulence early on and they were left yearning for more and never able to settle for less. I had my first sip of this intoxicating lifestyle when I was 18, a friend dating an heir of an import-export empire invited me on a trip to Thailand. We jetted off on a private plane to his $20 million mansion on Phuket Island for a week of living like royalty. This trip was an awakening, revealing what life could be at the top tier of the pyramid. The world's best is reserved for this select few. Private jets, lavish mansions, personal chefs, drivers, and attendants. Their life moves with them, encompassing Michelin, star dining experiences, and bespoke suits. A team of 50 professionals manage their fortune 
a task that's beyond the capability of even private banks. Despite the wealth and the glamour, the man at the heart of this abundance was kind, generous, and well-mannered. Though I was a guest in this movie, like lifestyle, I knew I craved it. After a private jet flight, commercial flight is never what I want anymore. After savoring a Michelin, level meal, anything less is disappointing. That's when I decided to turn these experiences into my everyday reality. Today, I'm living my dream, a grand mansion at Newport Beach overlooking Pacific Ocean, my own real estate business, a loving and supportive partner, and a network of entrepreneur friends. If I could do it, so can you. Keep the fire of your desire alive by visualizing your dream life in vivid detail. Remember, the more passionately you want it, the closer you are to achieving it. Step 2. Mapping Your High Society Ambitions Let's begin with a reality check. You must be brutally honest about your desires. Are you in this for a fairy tale romance? Then, if the relationship doesn't last, you wouldn't feel you've wasted your time because you pursued what you wanted. Love! However, many women feel a sense of loss and regret. When I reflect on my past, the relationships I value are those which have contributed to my growth in some way. Monetary gains, presents, or invaluable mentorship. It's essential to discern what brings you happiness and fulfillment and the type of man who can deliver that. For example, if you are an ambitious woman with dreams of revolutionizing the world or taking your business public, a billionaire partner may be the ideal match since they often drive technological and cultural progress. If a life of luxury is what you seek, a multimillionaire is good enough to offer you that. Remember, becoming a billionaire's wife is a higher stakes game compared to marrying a millionaire, a topic we'll delve deeper into in our course. Next, let's infuse some practicality into your dream. If your primary goal is to marry a wealthy man, prioritize his financial stability and generosity. Be flexible with secondary attributes like age or appearance. You can't have it all. An older, wealthy man may not compete with a young, attractive model in looks. If he does, he's likely an heir who's already surrounded by women, fighting his attention and competing with you. Finally, set precise short-term and long-term objectives. For instance, if marriage is your ultimate goal within one to three years and your short-term goal is acquiring a car within the next six months, if a man tells you that he's not ready for marriage, believe him. Then decide the time and energy you're willing to spend on him, considering his potential to meet your short-term goal. Can he provide you with that car in six months? Once you hit that deadline, if your desires remain unfulfilled, it's time to shift your focus to other potentials. You don't need to cut ties completely. He may prove useful in the future. Maintaining a clear vision of your long-term goal will prevent you from investing too much emotionally in short-lived relationships. Consider your short-term goal as a stepping stone to reach your dream destination. Step 3. Decoding the dynamics of wealth Who exactly falls into the wealthy bracket? Primarily, we're looking at three broad categories. Entrepreneurs and investors, political figures, and celebrities. The lion's share of affluence belongs to the first category, the movers and shakers of the business world, the risk, takers, who sow the seeds of startups and harvest profitable enterprises. A high-salaried executive gets paid well for sure, but the real rich are the owners of the business. Then come politicians, in certain part of the world, rival the wealth of businessmen thanks to their power for exchanges of discreet money. Celebrities are the glittering stars in the world of movies, music, or sports who, despite earning millions, also have endorsements and personal brands, but they rarely make it to the billionaire club without a robust business backing their fame. But how rich is rich? We're setting the bar at a net worth of over $10 million. That might seem like a high benchmark, but when you consider the cost of property in major cities like New York or Law, 
it starts to make sense. And remember, we're not talking about cash in the bank. The net assets include businesses, properties, and investments. Only when an individual's net worth reaches this level will they likely have enough disposable income to lavishly spend on their partner. Despite their diverse backgrounds, the wealthy share common traits. These include being open-minded, curious, optimistic, and determined. They don't readily accept no for an answer. However, these traits can also lead to stubbornness and arrogance. Understanding these characteristics is key to navigating your way through the world of the rich. Step 4. Cracking the Desires of Affluent Just as you've discovered your wants in this journey, it's equally crucial to unlock what your potential wealthy partner might desire. Contrary to the belief that it's all about your aspirations, fostering a mutually beneficial relationship relies on a deeper understanding of the other half. And the philosophy of giving before receiving often holds the key to navigating the affluent society. Let's challenge some misconceptions about what rich men don't want first. It's not that they hate women who love their money. In fact, many are proud of their success and the lifestyle they can provide. They view money as a tool to acquire what they desire in life, including more money, power, and women. However, they raise an eyebrow at women who declare they want nothing, sensing an underlying quest for commitment. Their real deal, breakers, a woman solely interested in his wealth, not him, a woman who can't bring any value to the table, or simply a woman who doesn't appeal to him. Just like a job seeker needing to prove their worth to a potential employer, you too need to demonstrate your value in a relationship. Now, let's delve into the real question. What do wealthy men desire? Not surprisingly, their wish list isn't much different from anyone else's. They seek a blend of beauty, charisma, intellect, capability, and a solid background. This whole package is often reserved for potential wives. But if you don't tick every box, there's no need to panic. Seek out shared interests or attributes that he values. Equally important, highlight unique traits he lacks. For instance, if he's introverted and you're socially confident, your ability to navigate social situations may be particularly charming in his eyes. But don't assume this is a straightforward game. Over years of interacting with wealthy individuals, we've categorized them based on various traits such as attire, personality, background, generosity, how they amassed their fortune, and more. Gaining an insight into these categories and quickly interpreting them is crucial. The boldly dressed, macho-type man may desire a traditional, subtle woman, while the casually dressed, traditionally raised man might prefer an independent woman. Self-made men often lean towards women from humbler backgrounds, whereas heirs prefer social equals. Understanding these subtle cues in a rich man's desires and responding appropriately can make all the difference. The faster you master this, the quicker you can identify your perfect match, saving valuable time and effort. A deeper insight into the desires of different wealthy categories can be your secret weapon in your journey to high society. We will analyze more details in the course. Step 5. Prepare for your debutantes in the high society. The concept of the debutante ball, an event traditionally held to introduce a young lady into high society, can serve as an inspiration for your own presentation to the world of wealth and status. As we progress through understanding our own wants and those of the wealthy men, we now approach the step of staging your own debut. But why is preparation so important? Well, it's because a good first impression is like a one-shot arrow. Once released, it cannot be taken back. And once you're labeled or categorized wrongly, it becomes a tough task to change it. To maximize your chances, there are four key areas to focus on. Your financial status, physical appearance, character, and personal brand. Finances. 
It's an age-old adage that it takes money to attract money. The more financial resources you have, the higher the caliber of men you'll draw into your life and the more they'll be willing to lavish on you. You don't necessarily need to be a socialite to allure wealthy men, but you do need some funds to maintain your looks. Upgrade your wardrobe and engage in social activities. What governs your financial situation is your understanding of money. Traditional schools may not teach you to become rich, but we can guide you on how to invest in yourself and how to spend wisely to enhance your social standing. So how to make the money? How to invest? If you are in your 20s, the best investment you can do is to invest in yourself. If you do not have a clear picture of how to make money, then all you do is waste your money and time. When I look back on the years of my 20s, I made many money mistakes and the asset I bought turned out to be liabilities. But if I studied it, I would not do the same thing. And I do not want to see any women to make the same mistakes again. And this is why I am here to help. In the course, we set a specific financial plan for women for how to make quick money, how to make big money, how to invest, and the most importantly, how to spend on the edge to maximize your chance to level up. The easiest way to make quick money starting from today is to sign up for our affiliate program. All you need to do is to share our course link on your social media to receive a commission. I want you to start making money before you invest in our course. Physical appearance. Mirror? Mirror on the wall? Who's the fairest of them all? Do you believe that men will love you just the way you are? While that's partly true, initial attraction often hinges on physical appearance. But if you show up in front of him and spend a long time with him every day, he will have a chance to read your beautiful soul. This often happens while you are working for him. In our entry-level course, 100 Ways to Meet the Rich, I introduced some jobs that you can work with the rich personally. The key here is not about being perfect. It's about presenting the best version of you. You want your skin to look glow. Your hair is smooth. Your teeth are white. Your dress looks expensive, elegant, and in a unique style. For more instructions, please download our ebook dress like a socialite. This 44 page ebook is completely free for you to download. I may charge for it in the future, so please download it now. It is worth more to spend on your looks when you're in your 20s and early 30s. When you get older, the more money you invest in your career will give you a higher chance to connect the rich in business settings. Maintaining an attractive and stylish appearance can open many doors in the world of affluent. Character. It is often a person's character that determines her life, not the degree and ability. Your character decides how you feel and how others feel about you. Looks attract a man and your character keeps him. Just as some wines leave an unforgettable taste, your personality can leave a lasting impression. The better your character is, the more emotional value you can offer, enhancing qualities such as optimism, joy, femininity, and understanding can make you irresistible to rich men. If you can do them right, 99% of men will be drawn to you. Optimism. Many rich are more optimistic, so they only picture how successful they will be when they start a business. And this is the major personality trait that gets them to start early before everyone else jumps into the same business. Joy. When you join a crowd, you are a person that has too much happiness inside of you and you cannot wait to share it with everyone. You want to be a woman who makes your friend and your boyfriend smile when they think about you. Feminine. Most of the rich are masculine men. They are leaders, dominates, determines to get the job done. And masculine men often attract to women who are feminine. What is feminine exactly? Anything the total opposite of masculine. Think about what most men do not have. Dress makeup, long hair, pout prettily. Completely changing your character is a long-term work and you improve it step by step daily. Only implementing after learning will get you a good result. 
We will walk you through the process of self-checking to make you a better person every day. Your personal brand. When celebrities are first introduced to the world, their entertainment company often carefully crafted a persona fits her best. When we think about Taylor Swift, we think about a talented songwriter who has a gift for crafting catchy, melodic tunes and storytelling lyrics. When we think about Britney Spears, we think about the sweet princess of pop. This image, or the way you present yourself to high society, can make or break your chances. Why do you need it? Why don't you just show who you really are? Well, it is human nature to treat people differently according to their appearance and social status. You can be a person who treats everyone the same, but you cannot require everyone to be like this. When you are new and fresh in the elite circle, you want to deliver a bold declaration to attract everyone's attention. Attention leads to curiosity, and curiosity leads to opportunity. Sometimes it is all about branding. Once you become a brand, you automatically become more valuable. The rich know this better than anyone. Elon Musk markets himself as the real-life Iron Man to attract media and investors' attention. Another example is the luxury brand, Hermes. Any experienced tailor can make a counterfeit Birkin bag, but why women still buy useless craps to beg for a Birkin at Hermes' store? It is the shiny halo of the luxury brand that magically opens your wallet. So do men. A man opens his wallet and his heart to a woman he sees as high value. So how to brand yourself as a high value and high maintenance woman? You can exaggerate a little bit, but not too much. You need to know certain things or know someone somehow related to the elite circle. For example, the famous story of Anna Sorokin. The woman used her appearance, attitude, and some knowledge in fashion, finance, and art to live and eat in luxury hotel for free and nearly scammed millions of bank loan. She has done everything right except for her fraud intention. What we learn is that without any background, experience, or some basic knowledge, you are unable to fake it for too long. We will introduce you the top three most popular personas in the elite circle. Two are a little bit difficult, and the last one fits for most women. It is as easy as using a template. You just need to adjust it to fit your background and profession. It's a journey of self-improvement and refinement that will eventually lead us to our ultimate goal, attracting and securing a rich man. Step 6. The Art of Mingling with the Affluent Lighting your inner fire. Picture this. After a long and stressful day at work, dealing with unreasonable tasks, navigating office politics, and managing stress from your boss, you long for the comfort of your bed. However, I'm here to remind you that while a job keeps you surviving from paycheck to paycheck, it won't make you wealthy or bring you to a different level unless you work closely with the rich. You know that if you go to work every day, we will get paid. But if you go out with a guy, it may not always get paid with love and happiness, but often heartbroken and anger. But are you willing to spend your precious youth living a mediocre life, meeting the same people, and doing the same tasks every day? Every woman's youth is short, and it is better used to exchange for a luxury life, or at least a comfortable life with a decent house and a car. If you follow our step-by-step -step instructions to upgrade to a new social circle, you will find out there are so many generous men who are good husband material. All you need to do is to upgrade your social circle. I want you to think about your current situation. How many men are you seeing each month? How many of them are rich? How many of them are your type? How many of them are sincere to you? Dating is a numbers game. You need more men, more rich men. You need to surround yourself with many rich men, and you need many of them to like you. Where the wealthy hang out. The million-dollar question is, where can you find these men of means? Why don't they just show up at your door with flowers and a big ring? 
why the celebrities and internet influencers find it easier to marry rich. Because they have a large audience base with a pool that is large enough even if you look like a potato, there will be someone who likes you. This is the biggest reason why many women get stuck in this step. No matter how great you are, the rich men do not know you. You could be the most beautiful woman in this world, and the rich men marry someone not as pretty as you, simply because she met him and you do not. Well, good for her and bad for you. So where do rich frequent? Do all these places have a barrier to entry? Well, some do and some do not. In our entry-level course, 100 Ways to Meet the Rich, we reveal over 100 locations across 14 life faces where you could strike gold. With a carefully designed budget and time plan, you can strategically plan your activities to maximize chances of meeting your Mr. Rich. Spotting Genuine Wealth after you put yourself in the playground of the rich, the next crucial skill to master is the ability to differentiate the genuinely wealthy from the posers. How important it is to be able to identify the kind, generous, and the real deal. You do not want to waste your time on the wrong ones and get hurt. Treat it in a cheap way. Get scammed for your body, your love, and your money. Yep, some men do fake to get investment. Get women and the worst of worst. Get women's money. Material rich is the ticket to the door of high society. If a rich man tells you that he has no money, he is either test you or he does not belong there. In high society, only some have class, but nobody is poor. Do not get tricked by his title, fame, or profession. I have seen women get fooled by the fakes and end up invest in his scam business. While you are expected to be taken care of by a rich man, you may end up taking care of the posers. In our insightful ebook, Identify the Real Rich, covers 10 life aspects, attire, lifestyle, value attitude towards people, work, money, and more, providing comprehensive guidance to spot the truly rich accurately and promptly. This 56-page valuable resource is currently free to download, so grab your copy now as it may not be free forever. Presenting yourself correctly. Now you figure out who is the real deal and you want to jump on him, open his wallet, and force him to marry you. Well, easy. Take things slowly. You do not want to scare him, creep him up, or confuse him. The first impression will contribute to 50% of the success of a relationship, and you only have one chance to play your cards right. Here are three essential tips. Tailor your appearance to the occasion, let your personality shine, and align your actions with your goals. First, you want to dress according to the occasion. One of the facts that differ rich from poor is that rich know how to dress appropriate according to the occasion, and the poor has no idea because they barely have the chance to dress up. In the free ebook dress like a socialite, we elaborate on this in greater detail. Besides your dress, your words and your body language need to fit with your character. If your goal is to get married, you do not want to behave as a cheap and easy woman to reveal his wild side. Building relationships with high society, the road to your wealthy prince might sometimes go through his affluent circle of friends. Building a good rapport with this elite crowd can open doors to private parties and intimate gatherings where you could meet him. So how to be liked by the elite circle and have them help you? Why do rich people hang out with you if they realize that you are not in the same social status? Many rich may automatically think that you want something from them, and that is money, connection, opportunity, or marriage, and this is most people present themselves in a needy way when they connect with the rich. While mingling with the rich, remember to be generous, humble, and helpful. When you meet someone, you think there is a potential to develop a long-term relationship regardless of business or friendship. Invite them for dinner. This will immediately set you apart and earn you their respect and trust you will leave another woman a great impression by paying for the food since women 
do not usually pay for another woman's bill. If you pay on a date, that is even more impressive, and the man will probably remember you for the rest of his life. If any of them invites you back or gives you a gift, you know this guy has potential to be a generous friend or boyfriend. This is a quick way by spending little money to select the right people. If your persona is not a rich woman, you need to be humble. If a rich people hang out with you, they like you for who you are, and they want to be liked by who they are instead of how much money they have. If you do not have anything to offer, then give some emotional value. If you can help them professionally or personally, that is even better. Those are three basic principles to make connections with rich. Also, don't underestimate the power of friendships with beautiful women and successful women. They often have access to exclusive events and circles and can introduce you to them. In the course, we'll cover tips to managing these relationships without triggering jealousy with women or seeming greedy with men. Mastering these unspoken social etiquettes can be your golden ticket to a world of wealth and opportunities. You have no idea how valuable these friendships can offer you. During college and early years of work, I have been invited to countless private parties hosted at Rich's mansions and met with many rich and famous guests as well. I have many lessons to share with you about my past experiences. Step 7. Navigating the early stages of romance. Navigating the early stages of a relationship is a delicate art requiring a balanced blend of poise and spontaneity. Here are three essential tips and five golden rules to help you sail smoothly on the waves of new love. First tip, spark the flame. If you have a great figure, show it by wearing an elegant dress. If you have beautiful hair, then do not tie it up. Instead, let your hair down. If you graduate from a prestigious private school, reveal it in a subtle way. Anything you are proud of yourself, show it. Rich people carefully choose who to spend their time with since time is the most valuable thing for them. So, it is essential to demonstrate your high value early on in a relationship. Second tip, preserve the mystery. You are an intriguing book and revealing all your chapters too soon might kill his curiosity. Maintain an air of mystery about your past relationships or family life. Keep some of your secrets, allowing him to gradually discover more about you over time. Third tip, cultivate connection. A strong bond emerges from a series of meaningful interactions and shared experiences. Find out if you two have common interests, friends or business corporations for further connections. Create more opportunities and excuses for more meetings. Five golden rules in the game of rich love. Rule number one, forget about marriage. Forget about marriage and enjoy the moment and the chase. If you cannot wait to marry him, the rich will sense it and he is likely to keep a distance. They have too many women just want to marry them straight. Let the thought of commitment be a distant goal, not an immediate one and keep it in your mind only. Do not project it on any specific man. Rule number two, celebrate the pleasure. Your relationship should be a source of joy for both of you. Radiate positivity and make every moment spent together enjoyable and memorable. If you feel the relationship has more unhappy times instead of happy times, it is meaningless no matter how great he is. Rule number three, Master the art of push, pull dynamic. Create a rhythm of closeness and distance. Pull him closer when he meets your expectations and distance yourself when he doesn't. You are the driver of the relationship. You have him taste how nice you are, how much value you can offer and where your button line is. This will subtly guide him on how to treat you with respect and consideration, just like training a pet. Rule number four. Encourage his generosity. If a rich man says he loves you but does not spend money on you, he does not love you. If he is rich, money should not be a rare resource for him to spend on you. Even a high school boy, how to buy a girl flower and invite her for dinner. Don't buy into excuses and do not make excuses for him. 
Men do crazy things when they in love. If he can spend money on others, he should be willing to do the same for you. The more he invests, the more he values the relationship and the less likely he will walk away. Do not act like a wife material who wants to save money for him. You are not his wife yet, and either it is the time to plan your financial future together yet. And a rich man does not become rich by saving money. As long as the spending is within his capability, matches your income level and your reasonable expectation, it should be fine. Rule number five, timing is everything. The perfect moment for intimacy is a critical milestone. It makes or breaks a relationship. For deeper insights into this progression, watch this video about a love song between Rich Adam and Humble Eve. Since it is a sensitive topic, I will reveal more skills in the course only. Step 8. Nurturing Love and Effective Communication After a few months of passion and romance, reality begins to set in. You're no longer the flawless mystical figure he first fell for. This stage is particularly vital. It's a testing ground for the solidity and resilience of your bond. Now it is time to nurture the love. Firstly, respect. Every individual, especially those of high social stature, craves respect. Never embarrass him before his employees, business partners, families, or friends. Self-respect is equally crucial. There's power in saying no, as it sets boundaries and lays out rules for him to follow. If he disrespects you, address it immediately rather than holding on to your anger. Secondly, adding more value. Each relationship, whether business or personal, thrives on a mutual exchange of value. Make sure that you contribute positively to his life. If what you bring to the table is more about your self-value such as your looks, it is time to add more emotional value and companionship value after you know him better. For example, you should know something about what he likes, what he dislikes, and what he is afraid of. Study him as you study any knowledge. Thirdly, building trust. Without trust, a relationship is not going anywhere. If you have to lie about anything, make sure you do not get caught. If he views you as untrustworthy, it's unlikely that he will see a future with you. Particularly for men of wealth and status, loyalty is invaluable in both their personal and professional relationships. Mastering the art of communication, a good communication approach is effective, positive, and create the cheerful atmosphere. Effective communication is a dance that requires agility, grace, and a keen sense of your partner's rhythm. It's about more than just exchanging information. It involves understanding the emotional context behind the information and fostering empathy. Here are three useful advice. First, active listening. Active listening is a vital component of effective communication. This entails fully focusing, understanding, and responding to your partner, and not just passively hearing the message. Second, express clearly. Be clear and carefully choose your words. Avoid using confusing language and ensure that your body language aligns with your words. Third, maintain positivity. Keep the tone of the conversation upbeat and positive. Even when discussing serious matters, a positive demeanor can help prevent the conversation from becoming heated or negative. Mastering your emotions. Rather than being a salve of your emotions, strive to master them. Your emotions should be a servant to your desires, not a master ruling over you. Three stages of mastering your emotions. First stage, self-awareness. Learn to recognize your emotions as they occur. This is the first step to understanding your emotional responses and how they impact your thoughts and behaviors. Second stage, emotion regulation. Once you can identify your emotions, you can start managing them. This includes handling stress, controlling impulsive behavior, and motivating yourself to persevere when faced with obstacles. Third stage, Leveraging emotions. Use your emotions to your advantage. For instance, you always show more love to him than what you really love him.
Step 9. Crafting a Lasting Bond As your relationship deepens and matures, you've now stepped into the realm of long-term commitment. This stage typically begins after the six-month milestone. However, avoid falling into the neediness trap, constantly seeking reassurance with questions like, Do you love me? Remember, a man's affection is best measured by his actions, not his words. Even if he says yes, it doesn't necessarily mean much. Always remember your goals and resist being lazy. Now that you have a partner who supports you, shopping sprees and jet-setting trips may have become a part of your lifestyle. However, how sustainable is this? You don't have a legally binding agreement like a marriage yet, which means your financial security isn't guaranteed. While it's tempting to bask in the present moment, don't neglect to consider the future. If you feel like things might be heading south, it's usually a sign that it's time for action. If he represents your best opportunity to transition into high society, then it's critical to acknowledge his needs and expectations. Affluent individuals are often used to being the center of attention and require those around them to accommodate their needs, much like their employees. Your challenge is to strike a balance, making him feel important without losing your individuality or self-respect. Build stronger bond. In order to marry him, you need to be somehow irreplaceable. Sadly, in a rich man's eyes, no woman is irreplaceable. Youth and luck are not good enough to keep him interested in the long run. We have three ways to tie you with him and make it more difficult for him to leave you. First, have his children. Second, do business together. Third, cultivating relationships with his friends and family. Establishing a good report with his friends and family, particularly if he's an heir, can be vital. Most of the time, you'll need his parents' approval to marry him. If you navigate one of those three correctly, you two will become a lifelong friend even without getting married. We will reveal the specific steps on how to planning for each one in the course. Shape yourself to a wife material. To transform yourself into wife material, it's essential to understand his expectations and those of his family. Continually shaping yourself to meet these expectations can pave the way to a secure and fulfilling long-term relationship. A man needs to picture you as a wife in his future to marry you. Step 10. Stepping through the grand entrance of the elite world. You've journeyed this far and are now at the doorstep of high society. Your task now is to transition seamlessly into this new realm. Success means making it through. Failure might mean starting from scratch with someone else. Securing the proposal. Securing a proposal from a wealthy suitor can be quite a bit more challenging than from a man of average means. Why? Well, for affluent individuals, marriage might not be seen as enhancing their lives. They harbor three significant fears when it comes to tying the knot. The fear of a costly divorce. The financial impact of a possible divorce is a legitimate concern. The fear of commitment. With many tempting alternatives, committing to one woman can be daunting, especially as societal judgment for changing girlfriends is negligible comparing to cheating and changing a wife. The fear of falseness. Past experiences or observations of drastic changes of a woman post-marriage can induce a fear of commitment. Your mission is to eliminate these fears, lower his defenses, and elevate his fear of losing you, ultimately leading him to propose. We'll guide you on how to achieve this effectively and gracefully in the coursefully in the course. Your exclusive bonus content if you've made it this far, you've earned an exceptional reward. You now hold the blueprint to navigate your way into high society. However, due to time constraints and the sensitivity of certain topics, we couldn't cover everything in this single video. That's why we are excited to introduce our master course, Marry into High Society. This immersive program is tailored, made for you to streamline your journey into a transformative marriage 
helping you bypass common errors to blow away your chance to change your life. It's your golden key to a life filled with love and wealth. We understand that the path of trial and error can be draining, especially after repeated disappointments. The smartest route to success is learning from others' experiences, and we're here to share ours with you. To make this course accessible to those most eager to change their lives, we are offering an early bird pre-order price for a limited time and number of enrollments. We want this course to be the guiding light for someone who was once like me, a young woman eager to navigate the world and wishing for a guide like this at an affordable price. If you're drawn to our course, but tuition is a concern, consider joining our affiliate program. Promote our course by sharing its link on your social media platforms. We offer a substantial 50 commission on the course price for every successful purchase. You'll earn back your investment with just two sales. Moreover, you don't need to be a student to participate. We are a school that pays you to learn. This way, you invest in not just your relationships, but also your financial stability. We want you to start making money from today, contribute to your leveling up journey. This video is packed with a lot of information, and you may want to come back to watch it again. Like and subscribe to our channel in case you cannot find it in the future. We encourage you to reach out by email with any questions about the course or suggest any specific topics you'd love us to include. This course is designed for you and we want it to serve you in the best way possible. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.